So we're going on a pioneer trek this year uh, with our youth. And uh, we've been assigned or we've been told that we are to fit all of our equipment, all of our personal belongings into a five gallon bucket. And then to label that or, or decorate it in some way uh, so that it is easily identifiable, that it is something that we can recognize from a distance. So I, I wanted to do a little bit something more creative. So I spent a lot of time trying to decide what I wanted to do and what pictures or, or what I was going to put on it and ultimately decided I wanted to do something that was more Egyptian in nature uh, to kind of tie it into the whole uh, the symbolism of, of the exodus from Egypt in Moses' time uh, comparative to the pioneers uh, exodus into the west and uh, there's a lot of scriptural references with Egyptian and reformed Egyptian in the Book of Mormon but um, anyway it was just more of a fun style that I thought would be enjoyable. And so I took my my favorite, the first two verses of my favorite hymn, and basically encoded those. So the final product, it has uh, my favorite hymn, is, is around the circumference of the bucket. Which was really tricky because the, the circumference of the bucket changes. It's narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. So to draw parallel lines all the way around and not have any major gaps was a bit of a challenge. And the secret to it being a T-square from the bottom. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. And uh, probably the, the, the neatest thing, or I wanted to, to make it a little bit more unique or, or specific to our trek. And I know there's going to be a lot of ticks. So I replaced all the scarabs with ticks. And uh, so this is a tick biting into the sun flying across the sky. And this is my name in red. Um, and on this side, this scene is the ritual, the Egyptian ritual apparently of removing a tick. And so I thought that was pretty fun. Um, and you can tell that the Egyptians are dressed up in pioneer clothing. And this guy's got his cup his tin cup on his waist. Um, any other symbolism is kind of interpretive. But the the cipher for decoding all of the hieroglyphs is at the bottom. And there's nothing on the bottom to indicate what those letters are. You have to take the lid off. And we're using gamma lids because it's more convenient uh, to remove your items. But there's a numeral system. The Egyptian numeral system is not proportioned the same way as the alphabet. So it's easier to start by lining that up. And then as you go around the circumference of the bucket, you've got your Egyptian alphabet. Now, some of these I changed the symbols on. Um, took some creative liberty, but um, it, w it just turned out to be a lot of fun. I, I hope this lived up to the expectations. I've got a lot of uh, neat numbers and symbols in here and I'm really excited about using this bucket.